the snowball effect. It is defined as the process that starts from an initially small form and builds upon itself, becoming larger and larger. If not stopped, it can and will grow to a disastrous spiral of decline that eventually is so large it cannot be stopped. Replace the snowball with global warming. The catastrophic aftermath of global warming has already begun taking place around the world. We are now fast approaching a point that is considered to be the point of no return. It is estimated by Greenpeace that if greenhouse gases being released into our atmosphere aren't cut down by at least 5% by 2020, we could reach this extremely dangerous tipping point. While no amount of greenhouse cutbacks can completely reverse the damage we've caused to our planet, we do still have a chance. The cutback of deforestation and a complete redesign of our current energy production as well as consumption are absolutely vital. If not, this snowball effect will take over and we will meet a point of severe and irreversible global damage. Humans are today using extensive amounts of energy. This need of constantly being plugged in is having a major impact on the warming of our planet. If we want to continue to exist, we absolutely need to find new ways of obtaining this energy. Oceans. The constant tides of the ocean paired with the fact that 71% of our planet is covered in water makes the ocean an incredible source of energy. It is a constant stream of energy that we as humans need to tap into. We may have seen solutions such as these, wind turbines. While fantastic tools, they are large, require the use of land, often farming land, and overall aren't something most people want to look at on a daily basis. These are tidal turbines. With much of the same functions, they are simply underwater. If we could capture even 0.1% of the ocean's kinetic energy caused by tides, we would be able to meet the current global demand for energy five times over. This is the Golden Toad. This small amphibian was sadly declared extinct in 2004. It is considered by many to be the first species to go extinct largely caused by global warming. Sadly, while being the first, it was not the last. Today, the outlook for many future species has become extremely bleak. It is estimated that by 2050, more than 1 million species will face extinction thanks in large part to global warming. While this is shocking, the risk of extinction among even more animals will only continue to grow. Climate change and the dying of species as a result will and is creating a problem that will be felt by all. As more animals die, their respective ecosystems are severely threatened, affecting the entire food chain. Global warming will slowly forge its deadly path forward, eventually reaching the top. Humans. The consequences of our greenhouse gas emissions are often discussed in terms of our rising global temperatures, global warming. However, global warming is not the only threat we are seeing from greenhouse gases. Oceans, absolutely vital to the existence of humans, are being destroyed. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the acidity levels for the surface of our oceans have increased by a staggering 30%. Now this comes as no surprise as 30 to 40% of all carbon dioxide released into our atmosphere ends up being absorbed by our oceans. This is resulting in what is called ocean acidification. 
it is estimated that oceans will become 150% more acidic by the end of this century. This will result in our oceans having a higher acidity level than they've had in over 20 million years. Acidic waters have horrifying effects on sea creatures, specifically shelled creatures. As these shelled animals begin to face extinction, the entire food ecosystem could suffer, including us. Of the 7 billion people on our planet, 1 billion rely on sea creatures as a primary food source. Coral reefs, while beautiful to look at, they are also one of the most biologically diverse and economically valuable ecosystems on our planet. As temperatures have continued to rise over the last half century, 93% of our global warming heat is absorbed by our oceans. Corals unfortunately haven't been able to adapt to these higher ocean temperatures and are dying as a result. In May of this year, news came of the impact that this has had on the Great Barrier Reef of Australia. It was reported that a ridiculous 93% of all reefs in that area had suffered some degree of bleaching. This is absolutely shocking as it is the worst event in the reef's history with northern areas being affected the worst. The mortality rate in some areas was as high as 50%, with the end death toll likely to exceed 90%. As water temperatures continue to rise, we are getting closer to the deadly overall mark of a 2 degrees Celsius increase in water temperature. If this comes, it is believed that a whopping 36% of all the world's coral reefs will die. However, ironically, while many coral reefs are suffering in more shallow regions, the rising sea levels are actually helping coral reefs in the deeper regions. See, as water rises, the coral subsequently get deeper and deeper. The deeper we get in water, the cooler the water is, which has resulted in some coral regions thriving like never before. Cattle farming has become a massive industry as the human population has increased and the demand for food has followed. It is estimated that at any given time, the number of cattle around the world is a staggering 1.3 to 1.5 billion. That is a lot of cows. Cows that eat a lot of food, but more importantly in this case, also digest and crap out a lot of food. Due to the sheer global numbers of livestock around the world, their digesting of food results in incredible numbers of methane gases being released into the atmosphere. Methane gas also happens to be absolutely devastating to our planet. It is up to 20 times worse for trapping heat into our atmosphere than carbon dioxide. It is then that we begin to see the problem. Livestock are by far the largest source of this deadly gas as over 28% of worldwide methane gas emissions are attributed to our delicious friends. More than just their farts and feces, it is actually their burps that release up to 95% of the methane gas that cows create. Livestock absolutely have a major impact on our planet and global warming. Nearly every coastal city worldwide is vulnerable to the concerning rise of sea levels. Extremely concentrated populations are located in these coastal cities globally. In fact, over 100 million people are living within just 3 feet of sea levels. This is concerning, considering sea levels are expected to rise 7 to 23 inches by the end of the century. A rise of just 4 inches would see many islands and parts of the Southeast Asian coast turning to swamps. 
In the United States, Louisiana and Florida are just two of the multiple states at risk. Some believe the point of no return has passed with multiple cities, believing that no matter what we do in terms of stopping our pollution or creating barriers, cities like Miami or New Orleans, for example, will eventually succumb to the rising waters. If this pans out to be so, it will mean the displacement of millions of people, the abandoning of their homes and cities, and the historic relevance that would forever be lost. This small Alaskan village, Shemarov, over 400 years old, is home to over 600 people. Here, the impact global warming is having on residents is truly harsh. Rising temperatures are resulting in melting ice, ice that is invaluable to the people of Shemarov. It acts as a barricade to shield them from raging storms. Melting ice also means rising sea levels, which is where the real issue lies. Shores here have been receding at incredibly alarming rates of up to 10 feet a year. This has meant numerous houses falling into water. Within only the next 20 years, this village will be gone. Gone with all the history that it holds. This is a truth that for years, residents had known of, that at some point they would be forced to leave. Sadly, this reality has come now. On August 16th of this year, the final poll result, winning by just 11 votes, has voted in favor of relocating. They don't know how, when, or even where they will end up. What is known is the emotional and financial strain will be tremendous. Ice glaciers, essentially nothing more than massive sheets of ice. More than just being large though, they are extremely heavy. Their size and weight cause enormous amounts of pressure to be exerted onto the Earth's surface. The stress this weight causes on the Earth means that many current earthquakes are often suppressed. However, as these glaciers melt away at exceedingly faster rates, the pressure is slowly released, the result of which could be deadly. The rising sea levels and releasing of this pressure through the melting of glaciers will disrupt the balance of pressure on our Earth's tectonic plates. Replace our planet with a balloon and glaciers with your hand. As we release pressure, the balloon will begin to shift shape. Earth is no different. What this means is that not only will earthquakes no longer be suppressed by the pressure of glaciers, but the frequency of earthquakes will begin to dramatically increase. This is the trumpeter swan a truly beautiful animal that nearly went extinct in the early 1900s. Less than 70 wild trumpeters were known to even exist in 1933. Since a ban on their hunting as well as careful reintroduction by wildlife agencies, their numbers have slowly began to recover. However, newly discovered evidence shows the recent spike in the trumpeter swan's population is actually in part due to global warming. While rising temperatures are having a negative impact around the world, trumpeter swans are actually seeing great advantages. This comes as their summer habitat has been extended. Their ability to travel farther north than ever has allowed them to access thousands of acres like never before for a longer period than ever before. This newly accessible land has meant larger breeding grounds for the trumpeter that has never been accessible due to previously cold temperatures. 